Hey friends, this is Malka Asad and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about how to take notes for your USMLE exam preparation. I know that notes are one of the controversial topics among medical students. Some medical students like them, some hate them. In this video, I'm gonna share my personal experience on how to take notes and the strategies that helped me get 270s on both the Step 1 and Step 2 CK exam. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos about the USMLE exams. Also make sure to check my website which has several resources for those preparing for the USMLE exams, for those trying to match into residency in the US and get an idea about the services I provide through that website. I recently watched a video by my friend Santiago with whom I did two YouTube videos so far and he mentioned how he scored very high on the Step 2 CK exam without taking a single note. I personally disagree with this strategy. I believe that notes are important for your preparation because as you know, the UWorld question bank for step one is around 3,400 questions. For step two, it's around 3,800 questions. If you don't narrow the amount of information you have to review after your first round, it's gonna be extremely challenging to review the whole question bank again. That's why I personally believe that there is a value in notes that they can summarize the amount of information that you have to review without having to go and review the whole material. And actually Santiago himself mentioned at the end of the video that he made 500 flashcards and 1600 tagged questions to review before the exam. And in my opinion, this is a form of note taking. Note taking is not only writing down notes, you can create your own form of note taking to review the material at the end of your preparation. I know that a lot of students like to write down notes because they think it helps them remember the information later. And that might be true, but the question is, is there another way that can help me remember the information to the same level that would take less time? There is a book I read, it's called The Unlimited Memory, and it tells you different strategies that you can use to optimize remembering information. One of them is to link uh, information with images, creating mind maps, and several others that you can check in this book. And I will leave the link for the book in the description below. I know that you might be comfortable with writing down notes. This is the way that you've been used to in your high school, in your med medical school, but there might be other ways that can be uncomfortable in the beginning. You might need to practice them, but then afterwards they would be more efficient. They would make you reduce the amount of time that you would take to write down a whole notebook to maybe review the question bank one more time or do another question bank and that would be more efficient for your studying. In my step one experience video, I divided the preparation for the step one exam into three stages. The first one, you read information from books such as Pathoma, Golgen, Kaplan books. And for these specifically, I did not take any notes. I did some underlining, I, took, I did some highlighting on the book itself, but I did not have the time first and I didn't feel the need to, to go back and review all these highlighting and underlining I did on the books themselves. So if you're studying from books for your first stage of preparation, I don't recommend taking any notes. Maybe do some underlining, do some highlighting on the book itself. And in case you felt the need to, or you had the time to, you can go back and look at these underlining, highlighting, which don't take time. For the second stage of preparation in which you start preparing from first aid from UWorld, I don't recommend taking down notes from UWorld and writing it down on first aid. Because at this stage, you're not familiar of the importance of the information. You don't know what is high yield, what is low yield. Some information you might have a problem with at the beginning, but at the end of the question bank or at the end of reviewing first aid, you might be the master of. So at the first revision, I don't recommend taking down notes from you world to first aid. Maybe do that at your second or third revision, but the first one, keep the, the notes in each book separate. And actually speaking, first aid is a collection of notes. It's like somebody sat down and wrote down all the information that are extremely important in a notebook and called it first aid. Because first aid is a more of a review book. It doesn't have the explanation. It summarizes all the information you need to know before you go to your exam. For taking down notes from first aid, I don't recommend writing down notes from first aid to another notebook maybe only few pages or only things that you think are extremely important that you need to put on a separate book. But otherwise, use first aid itself. Maybe do some underlining, some highlighting, 
Don't do it in colors in the beginning. Use maybe a pencil because as I said, the things that you find important and high yield or difficult at the beginning of your preparation might not be as difficult later on and it's gonna be hard to change the colors. But if you have a pencil, you can take it out and use the colors in your second or third revision of first aid. And now let's talk about taking notes from UWorld. I think UWorld is the part of the step exam preparation for both step one and step two CK that needs the most extensive amount of notes. Why? Because UWorld is around 3,400 questions for step one, 3,800 questions for step two, and it would be extremely challenging to review the whole question bank after you do your first round. And I know many students cannot retain all the information after a first round, so you need some form of revision. One idea is to write down notes, which is extremely challenging if you're trying to write down notes from 3,800 questions or 3,400 questions. I know some students who wrote down a notebook of 200 or 300 pages of notes from UWorld and I'm personally against this strategy. I personally did not write many notes from UWorld, maybe maximum of 5-6 pages, but I used more efficient ways of taking notes from UWorld. So let's talk now about strategies that you can use to take down notes without having to write them down. And this could be used for UWorld or other materials as well. The first one is to create an electronic version of the notes. So instead of having to write down notes, you can copy paste from the material you are using. Or in the case of UWorld, they introduced a new feature recently in which you can select a certain area of the text or you can select table and put it into a notebook. This notebook is divided into sections. You can divide it into the systems in whatever way you feel comfortable with. And you can use this notebook at the end of your first round instead of having to go through the whole question bank or spend the hours and hours writing down notes on a notebook. I personally used this feature during my step three preparation and it was extremely useful and extremely efficient. However, one thing to keep in mind is that you have to be careful about the amount of information you take from UWorld or other material into the electronic version of the notes because now it's easy to copy paste and some people just copy paste the whole explanation. That is not an efficient way because when you come back to review it, it's gonna be extremely challenging. So for me, the strategy I used is the minimal required, which is the minimum amount of information I would need to understand the topic. Sometimes I even wrote my own explanation of the question in order to minimize the amount of information I'll copy paste. So be very careful on how much you copy paste from the resource to the electronic notebook. Similar to a real notebook, you can use different colors, underline, bold, to give different levels of importance to the information. So in case you didn't have enough time to review the whole notebook, the electronic notebook that you have, you can go to a specific color or to the underlined area which are more important than the rest of the information. Another way of taking notes efficiently is flashcards. They are similar to the electronic version of notebooks I talked about because you don't have to write them down. You can just copy paste them from the resource to the flashcard. Also in UWorld there is a feature in which you can select the text and it can go directly to the flashcard. And actually flashcard has an extra advantage which is the act of retrieval. Because when you try to remember information, that would solidify the information more than just reading it. So when you have a question, for example, at the beginning of the, question, uh, the flashcard, and then you switch it and you try to remember that information before you look at the answer, that would help you remember the information more than if you just read it. From my personal experience, I even use the act of retrieval, which is trying to remember the information before reading it, even when I'm reading my notebooks, because I try to close that part of the notebook and I try to remember the information before I confirm that and read it. Or sometimes I, I can't remember it, but even that effort that your brain took to search for the information and you read the information afterwards, that would help solidify the memory way more than just reading the information. So if you like flashcards, they are another efficient way of taking down notes without having to write them down. The third way is to use highlights, underlining, bolding to select certain parts of the text rather than reviewing the whole text. Although technically speaking, they are not notes, highlighting an area of the book is not taking down notes, but they serve the same purpose because if you take that part of the text and you wrote it down in a, in a notebook or you took the electronic version or the flashcard versus highlighting it from the text and you would go back when you read the text again, you only look at the highlighted version. And the final one, which is also not technically taking down notes, but serves the same purpose, which is narrowing the material from huge to something that is reasonable to review, is tagging questions in the UWorld question bank or other question banks. So for example, 
if you have 3,800 questions and you only found maybe 200 or 300 that, that are worth reviewing, you can flag them and you can come back only to the flagged questions instead of reviewing the 3,800 questions. It's important to have a certain number of questions that you can review because you don't want to be spending the last month or two of your preparation only reading notes because the exam is going to be questions, it's not going to be notes. So it's good to have a combination of questions you can review and notes that you can review. And also questions are important because they involve the act of retrieval that I talked about because when you read the question, you would try to remember that information and that by itself would solidify the memory in your brain way more than if you just read it. So when you're studying new world, you can flag the questions that you think are worth doing one more time. And at the end of your first round, you can review the notes that you took, first aid and tagged questions. So in summary, I think notes are extremely important in your preparation to narrow down the volume of information you have to review. However, you have to find an efficient way of taking down notes. Personally, I'm not a fan of writing down notes. I think they are not an efficient way of taking down the notes. So for writing down notes, I take the minimum possible, maybe 10, 20 pages for the whole exam preparation. In the first stage of my preparation, when I was studying books, I used highlighting, underlining, but I did not write down notes. For UWorld, I used the notebook incorporated in UWorld itself, so I can just copy paste instead of having to write down and I created a whole notebook. I also used flashcards and both these techniques saved me a lot of time that I would have taken to write these things down. For first aid, I used underlining mainly with pencil in the first round, more colors in the second and third round. I took a small number of information from UWorld to first aid only after the first round. Always remember that everyone is different. Everyone has their own learning style, their own strategies. So you don't have to uh, implement every single tip I gave you today. One thing to keep in mind is that some of the strategies that we've been used to might have worked for medical school but might not work for the USMLE exam. Another thing is that some of these strategies we've been used to and we feel comfortable with but we ourselves might be better in a better strategy. So try, keep, keep an open mind, try different st strategies and see which one works best for you. I hope this video provides you with an insight on how to take notes, how to better uh, prepare for your USMLE examination and how to optimize your learning style and learning strategies. If you find any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button and I would love to hear your thoughts on taking notes, what is the best strategy that works for you in the comments below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. Also make sure to check out my website to have an idea about the services I provide and the blog that we built recently. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malka Asad or my Facebook page Malka Asad MD. And now you can also reach out to me on my website and I will leave the link for my website in the description below. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I wish you best luck on your USMLE exam preparation and see you in future videos.